Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. We are done now with 31 metal bands from Japan. And I told you I was gonna do a countdown of my personal top 10 favorite bands that I discovered. So, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Just cause I didn't pick your number one as my number one, okay? So let's start this off by going over my number 10. The band Ganglion actually is on my top 10. Uh, for some reason, I can't really put my finger on it, but for some reason, this band, uh, I couldn't stop listening to the song that I reviewed. Uh, I, I ended up looking up their other older stuff and I just, I don't know, it just brought back like an, an older time feel uh, of the 2000s. And for me, it just seemed like the more that I listened to it and the more that I listened to their other songs, it just grew on me. So that's why. Ganglion, even though they're all broken up or on a permanent hiatus, uh, they got my t number 10 spot. All right, number nine. I am going with Sim. <laughs> so I love the lead vocalist. I thought he had uh, a unique voice uh, and a good vocal range as well. Uh, their style was very unique, although it did remind me a lot of Green Day, of course. Uh, they're more diverse, adding in reggae and the other different elements that they added into their um, music. So I did take a look at some of their other stuff. Um, the one that I haven't reviewed or gone over or chose to listen to is the one that's on Attack on Titan. So I'll be going over that one and be doing a review on that one. And then uh, another one that was recommended for me to do a reaction to, and it did sound interesting, was Baseball Bat. So that is coming soon. You guys watch. Moving on, we're going to number eight. Band is called Undead Corporation. So with this band, when I saw them, uh, I saw first uh, Akami's uh, uh, facial makeup and aesthetic, and I thought that was just really rock and killer. Um, it, that's what even drew me to them in the first place. And then I end up hearing um, their song and I just, I thought they just sounded great. The, the dual singers together, um, they, they, they just like punched me in my face. You guys knocked it out of the ballpark with me uh, and you guys became one of my top 10 favorite bands that I found in Japan. So thank you guys. Um, I will be going over another song, um, another reaction from Undead Corporation as well uh, that they asked me to do again, Arigato. And uh, I will be doing that review soon, so stay tuned. Moving on, for my number seven band, which is one of the bigger bands um, that I got reactions to, which is Bandmade. Yes, they made the list. Now, I know I'm the metal kitty and I'm supposed to be nothing but you know hardcore brutal metal but you know what this band made me feel really good so band made even though they have um a softer side a, a unique style as you know they dress in all band, uh, uh, made outfits um even though they may come off looking like they're these la -di -da -di -da, happy little girls you know they actually have some really rough songs they actually have some heavier songs the tunes are catchy um, and they stick in your head. Trust me, I just like had the song sticking in my head over and over again. Um, also, uh, like I said, it just made me personally feel good inside. So although I was just like rocking out to their really heavier stuff, it was actually a, a really good positive feeling that they gave me. So Band Made made my top 10 as number seven. So uh, also I plan to catch them here in California in October of 2022 later this year at Aftershock, they will be there. So get your tickets for Aftershock Festival. It's gonna be in Sacramento, I believe. Uh, so we'll see you there. The next one I chose for number six is gonna be Fate Gear. Um, okay, to start off with, wow! <laughs> I love, love, love steampunk in the first place. So when I heard this and saw this band, it just was like, gave me goosebumps, okay? So I love her harsh vocals and how she was able to harsh vocals and clean sing was um, was really cool. I loved it. I love their style. Um, their craziness in, in the video was just 
it was really cool. So I ended up listening to a lot of their other music and I'm totally digging this band a lot. So Fate Gear. These women are freaking awesome and uh, that's why they made number six on my top 10 list. Moving on to number five on my list. Five. I chose Unlucky Morpheus. Yes, 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 I chose them. The reason being is because I love symphonic music and I love that they had a, a violinist uh, in their heavy music, okay? Uh, I went back to their older stuff as well and yeah, I heard a lot of, uh, of uh, really, really cool songs. Uh, like I said, it just made me more into them after hearing their first song initially. I'm dying of thirst here. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, so not only did Unlucky Morpheus just turn me on to their music, but uh, also that turned me on was that Fumia drummer. <laughs> oh, Fumia, my heart. Oh, you heard it. Plus, he's crazy on the drums. I love it. All right, moving on to number four. All I got to say about this band is Lo and Cobra. Boom! You just got like a train wreck right there. They're freaking awesome together. The band is Broken by the Scream. Uh, completely blown away by this band. It was it was very unique, different because they're they're a pop metal idol band with four different singers. But Lo and Kagura, I love you guys. Ah, you guys, you guys are awesome. I love you. Um, and you guys made top four in my top 10. <laughs> Check them out. They're freaking amazing. All right, guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, my top three. Okay. So in third place, I chose Gotsu, Totsu, Kotsu. Yes. <laughs> you guys, man, you guys really uh, surprised me with uh, your amazing uh, bass work. How do he that? <laughs> Uh, on, on bass and vocals, amazing. You got Koji on the guitars, and I don't know the other dude's name on the drums, but you rock too. <laughs> but man, what a band. Um, really took me by surprise, and I was so happy to actually re review your guys' uh, your video. And uh, I listened to your other songs, and they are just as rocking, so I gotta give it to them. Top number three. Cool. Coming in at number two. Dexcore. Wow. When I heard Kagami, man, I was just like, boo. <laughs> they had such a cool song, just such a cool look. Um, I hear Kagami has a, a, a wide range of vocals. I actually thought when I heard another song, I actually thought that there was a female in the band because his voice, I guess, gets to such a higher range. And I was like, so I went to his Insta, right? And I looked at him and I saw him doing some uh, vocal covers. And I was like, holy shit, that's him. It's, there's no female in the band. <laughs> so I felt kind of dumb, but whatever. <laughs> but anyway, Dexcore, man, Ah. Oh. So anyway, Earthworm, I love that. I loved how they had uh, a surprise vocalist, Mikito, come in at the end and just they both killed it um and so yeah so now i am a dexcore fan but there is one i'm holding out on listening to and that one's called brainwashing you guys recommended it i will give it to you guys that reaction is coming soon stay tuned and the moment you've been waiting for guys number one on my top 10 list of metal bands from japan the one i am most grateful to run into since doing this whole entire series. Has to be, hands down, Crystal Lake. Yes, my friends, Crystal Lake. Rio and his vocals blew me away. 
Um, not, not to mention that any song that ended up pulling up on this, uh, on Crystal Lake, I loved it. <laughs> like almost every single song I was like, damn. <laughs> so like I spent one whole day just listening to all of their music, uh, blasting it and I really enjoyed all of their music. I can't just say that just this one uh, that I went over was my favorite. They all were really high on my list as, as being great songs. So that's why Crystal Lake has gotten the number one spot on my top 10. Check them out. I recommend them highly, highly to you. I can't really do any more reviews on them because I listen to all of their music. I can wait. <laughs> they are that good. So um, I also listened to one of their little interviews and they just seemed like really sweet, nice guys. Uh, so yeah, as soon as they get here to the United States, I am going to see Crystal Lake. So that's my top 10 guys. You can agree with it or not. Let me know what your top 10 is. I want to know what you guys think. I know you guys have said I just barely scratched the top surface. There's so many other bands that I should have checked out. And you're right. But a lot of them I've already heard. So that's one thing. If I've already heard of them and know their music, I can't review them. Um, but thank you for the recommendations anyway. So much more to dig into, guys, in Japan. So much more music. So many more bit metal bands. Um, so I'll be reviewing as I go along. Thank you so much for following the series. Japan is awesome. Can't wait to go. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, guys, uh, for tuning in tonight. And we will be continuing on with the regular Metal Kitty show. You know any bands that want to get their videos or lyric videos reviewed or reacted to, please send them my way. Right here, guys, subscribe. I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel so that you guys can hear these maybe not so popular bands, then we can give them some love and attention that they deserve. Okay? Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Love you guys. Keep the comments up. Keep it metal. Keep it brutal. Bye-bye.